guys, my name is Destruct and welcome back to another video. Today is the first episode of my No Man's Sky 4 Pillars reviews and in this video we'll be looking in depth at survival in the game, which personally I believe is its biggest problem. The only word I can really use to describe survival in No Man's Sky is lazy, very lazy. In fact, it almost feels like a tagged on feature which they forgot about and decided to quickly add in. Um, it's honestly a complete drag to keep yourself alive in No Man's Sky, and sometimes I wished I could just die, but without further ado, let's look at a few reasons why. Firstly, survival is time consuming, yet at the same time, it's practically impossible to die in No Man's Sky, meaning it's completely tedious and pointless. Survival in the game is to what essentially are health bars being constantly drained no matter what. Life support is one of these. It's your exosuit keeping you alive, and no matter how lovely your planet is, it could be lush, a jungle with 20 degrees Celsius, it's just constantly ticking away and it has to be refreshed in the menu. Refreshing your life support is a slow process, and it's not very immersive to the gameplay when you can be exploring and just having fun, and you have to pop into the menu every f like minute or so to basically keep yourself alive. It's not fun at all. There's also hazard protection, which is a little more interesting than life support in the sense that it actually differs from planet to planet with radioactive, toxic, thermal and oxygen protection affecting hazard protection. Meaning that it doesn't feel like it's completely pointless. You can actually see uh, that, you know, a hot planet you need to survive from the heat and a toxic planet you need to survive from uh, the toxicity. Um, rather than here's a health bar which you must always replenish no matter what forever. Both of these survival bars are tedious and terribly implemented and just overall lazy. If Halo Games weren't being lazy with the survival element in the game, they would have actually added danger into No Man's Sky. I mean, their previous game was Joe Danger for God's sake, and yet in this game the only danger is terrifying space crabs which chase you out of caves and a very occasional predator which normally has very predictable attacks and can easily be evaded. If the planets themselves and the creatures which inhabited them were actually dangerous, then this could have been a great survival game. They could have upped the difficulty, made it so creatures were harsh and standoffish. The majority of creatures are completely passive and timid, and they share the same behaviour of running away. It would be more interesting if the behaviours were more diverse, <clears throat> more intelligent, more dangerous and more unpredictable. For example, a parent creature with young babies would be standoffish and aggressive towards the player if you get too close. This would make sense. Another behaviour would just be creatures standing their ground and not letting you get close. You know, where they sort of draw a line and allow you to back away, but will pounce on you if you provoke them. Also, we need more carnivorous creatures. Animals which want to eat you. This is so threatening and like horrific and cool. But the single type of creature I've seen so far which has a coniferous diet was a small crab and nothing else. Everything else eats oxides, silicates, insects, isotopes or plants. Another great step forward would simply have been to remove life support. Imagine how much better that would be. Say we keep hazard protection uh, and also add the ability to sort of auto charge a hazard protection in the menu. Uh, you know, so you don't have to uh, like go into the menu to charge anything. You can literally just like click a button, and if you've got the materials to charge that specific thing, it will just automatically charge. And this will make the game more immersive. You don't have to be going into the menus as much. But yeah, removing life support would be a great step. So there are your easy fixes. It removes the constant replenishing of health bars with no reason behind as to why, and it removes going to the menus which breaks the immersion of exploring and fighting. Popping into the menu during a live space battle to replenish your deflector shield is not immersive gameplay, it's just a letdown and a complete destroyer of pace and atmosphere in the game. Honestly, I just feel like survival in No Man's Sky has been added so poorly, and quite frankly, lazily. It's like Hello Games never wanted this to be a survival game, but needed the game to look cool in the trailers, with all these dangerous looking planets. Unfortunately, it is one of the most integral and time consuming parts of the game, yet also the most disappointing. Nobody wants life support, nobody wants a lack of challenge, and no one wants exclusively passive and timid creatures. So let's see if Hello Games can improve survival in future updates. For my first four pillar review, looking at survival in No Man's Sky, I rate survival a 3 out of 10. We are told this is a survival game, yet survival in this game feels wrong and poorly executed. 
with harsher creatures and environments, and a rework of the life support and hazard protection systems. Survival in No Man's Sky could have been so much more, but for now it's severely detracting from the overall gameplay experience. Thank you all for watching and making it to the end of the video. If you've been playing No Man's Sky, let me know how you feel about survival in the comments below. Remember guys, you still have exploring, fighting and trading to go for my four pillars reviews. So do stick around if you enjoyed this ep episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.